So your biggest concern or your biggest objective in carpet care should be the safety of the occupants and the visitors to your building. That should be number one in your mind. Carpet care and sediment control starts with the proper entryway systems. That means walk-off mats. I cannot tell you how many calls we MISCO regional managers go on for carpet care problems and the first thing we do is check the walk-off mat situation and there are none. We are not in the walk-off mat business at MISCO Products, but you need walk-off mats to keep at least 40, 50, 60, 70 percent of the sediment out of your building in the first place because it's all coming in from the floor or the ground outside the building. So number one, you need a good quality walk-off mat. That walk-off mat should sit fat, flat on the floor so no one trips over it. It should be in good condition and it should be vacuumed twice a day. Now who does that? It's a good question, but uh, again, a properly purchased, a properly maintained, and a properly flat laying walk-off mat is an asset, not a liability. If you walk across a walk-off mat and the corner is turned up and someone trips on that, it's going to be a bad scene. So, the, 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 the data that I'm about to show you came from the United States Green Building Council when they talk about sediment control in a building. The first step in green cleaning of any kind is the walk-off mat or the entryway systems. And this drawing spells out what the USGBC recommends for a proper walk-off mat installation. They want at least 18 feet of walk-off mat prior, during, and into the building. That means they want about a 10-footer outside. They want a little 6-footer inside. I know this is 26 feet, but if these were 18, it would be even longer. And they want another 10-footer inside the building. Stand there and watch people come into your building. If they're taking a step and a half and they're off the walk-off mat, you're losing money and creating a liability in your indoor carpet because you're not getting the dirt off the bottom of their feet. So again, this model is generated by the United States Green Building Council for LEED certification. This would be what is recommended. A walk-off mat outside at 10 feet. Obviously, you want an outdoor walk-off mat to get the bulk of the sediment and mud. One inside the vestibule and another 10 feet inside the building. That will give a person at least six steps on that walk-off mat. I'm going to come back again with six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six steps on that walk-off mat to get the dirt off their feet in the first place.